Jack Johnson, heavyweight champion of the world, defends his title against Stanley Ketchell in a scheduled 20 round bout. Here we go into round one. Johnson, much the larger man. He's 209 pounds to Ketchell's 160. A 49 pound weight pull for the big champion. Jack Johnson won the heavyweight title in Australia 10 months before this fight when he knocked out Tommy Burns. Since then, Johnson has defeated all heavyweight contenders. When Stanley Ketchell, the middleweight champion, challenged Johnson, the whole world became interested in the outcome of this fight. 10,000 people are jammed into this arena. Many thousands more milling around outside, unable to get in. Some of these people traveled thousands of miles to get here. Some fight experts consider Jack Johnson the perfect fighter. He's a master boxer with an almost perfect defense and he can hit like a ton of bricks. Stanley Ketchell is known both as the Michigan Marble and the Michigan Assassin. He's a great two-fisted puncher. He's famous for his left shift, in which he moves to his left but comes in fast with a right lead followed by a left hook, a tricky combination. Johnson has a terrific reach advantage as well as height and weight. Ketchell having trouble trying to get in close enough to land a punch. The end of round one. It's pretty hot under this California sun and the seconds get to work right away. Back in just a moment. Now here we go into round two of this 20 round title bout between heavyweight champion Jack Johnson and Stanley Ketchell at Colma, California, October 16th, 1909. Johnson, the bigger man. The crowd yelling at Johnson to fight, cut out the holding. Jim Jeffries, the retired former heavyweight champion, has promised to return to the ring and regain the title from Johnson if Ketchell doesn't win today. Johnson says he'd be very glad to meet Jim Jeffries in the ring. He claims that Jeffries never would give him a shot at the title, that Jim always was afraid of him. When Johnson fought Tommy Burns in Australia, Jack gave Burns such a terrible beating that the police stopped the fight in the 14th round to save Tommy's life. Ketchell is down. That was a terrific right to the jaw. Takes a count of five. He looks all right. He's still got a lot of fight left in him. Ketchell seconds keep yelling at him to cover up and make Johnson lead, but Ketchell keeps carrying the fight to Johnson. Ketchell had figured he could beat Johnson by getting in close and hitting to the body, but it hasn't worked so far. Johnson's been holding him off and outboxing him. When Ketchell does get in close, Johnson ties him up. The end of round two. In the next five rounds, Ketchell keeps carrying the fight to Johnson. The champion seems overly cautious. 
Now here we are in round eight of this 20-rounder between Jack Johnson, heavyweight champion of the world, and Stanley Ketchell here at Colma, California. Jack Johnson, the bigger man, in complete command, smiling confidently, seems to be toying with Ketchell. Johnson's very fast for a big man. He's much faster than he looks. His flat-footed shuffle gives a false impression that he's slow. yelling at the referee to break him up and make Johnson fight. Stanley Ketchell is recognized as one of the truly great fighters, regardless of weight. But this fight with Jack Johnson here today is the great moment in Stan Ketchell's life. If he wins, he'll be the first fighter in all history to hold both middleweight and heavyweight titles at the same time. A half punch, half push sends Ketchel flying across the ring. Shows the great difference in weight and power between these two men. Looks like the old story of a good little man against a good big man. The end of round eight. In the ninth round, Johnson keeps slashing Ketchell's face with a stinging left jab. Now here we go into round ten. Ketchell's face is badly cut up, but Stanley has lots of heart. No one ever denied that Stanley Ketchell is one of the most courageous men ever to step into the ring. Johnson's been boxing very cleverly. He's been letting Ketchell set the pace and wear himself down. So far, Johnson has just been peppering away with his jab and counter-punching. He's using as little energy as possible. Ketchell out. Looks like the champ isn't ready to knock Ketchell out yet. These men hate one another. There's a lot of bitterness between them. Before the fight, Ketchell said some nasty things about Johnson, and Johnson said he was going to punish Ketchell for it. Cut him up badly and then knock him out. Ketchell trying desperately to get in close, to hit the champion into the body but he can't get through Johnson's clever defense. The left side of Ketchell's face is badly mauled and bruised. So lopsided, it looks as though Johnson could not catch it out any time he wanted to. That Johnson's like a panther. The end of round 10. Ketchell's badly cut up and hurt, but Johnson's not even breathing hard. Back in just a moment. 
In the 11th round, Johnson smashes Ketchel all over the ring. Now round 12, Colma, California, October 16th, 1909. Johnson is down. It was a terrific right to the jaw. The referee's count seems fast. Johnson's up at eight. He's mad. Ketchel's excited, comes in wide open, takes a right square on the jaw. They're both down. Johnson gets up and the referee counts over Ketchel. The great Stanley Ketchel, the Michigan assassin, is out cold. Jack Johnson retains his heavyweight championship of the world. <laughs>